G'day guys, welcome to today's vlog. I'm gonna start off the vlog today getting out some sold items. We have quite a few sales. I'm not sure exactly how much. We have about six, seven or eight, somewhere in between there of sales to get out. It's a Monday morning, or well, it's actually Monday afternoon. Just been cooking some vegan pancakes which I filmed for Cooking with Cody that should be released pretty soon. However, let's get out these items. And today is a pretty exciting day, so I'll let you guys know about that after we get these items out. You can probably guess by the title of this video that- All right. Oh, Dad. Hey, Dad. Good, yourself? Well, all right, so we sold a Zumba. These do pretty well for me. I took a really low offer on this just to get it out, 35 bucks. But I reckon I could have sold this for like 45 to 50 if I let it sit a bit longer. We also sold a Jan Sport bag in floral print for 30 bucks, paid five for that one. Also sold a Yamaha guitar, a vintage guitar. Not sure what year this one was from, but we sold this one for 90 bucks. It was in a pretty beat up condition. I probably could have gotten over 100 if it was in much better condition. And we sold some Baxter boots. Not much, just 25 bucks, just getting rid of those. Also sold another Jansport bag. Took 25 for this one. Then we have an RM Williams sleeveless sort of top that sold for 25. Then we sold Pokemon Black for the Nintendo DS. This one sold for 30 bucks. And then sold this suit. It's a Cantero Lee brand men's suit. I only got 35 for this one, but it's going to the States and they paid a total of like 100 bucks or so for it to get shipped. So I ended up getting those parcels out, but I think I've motivated mum to get rid of the junky cars that we have in the backyard because I am picking up a van later on today. Well, I'm going down to check out a van. So I've motivated her to get rid of the two utes, wrecked utes that we have down the back here. So that's what we're working on now is getting rid of those. So you got the ladders off. So we're going to get rid of this one and that. This car has not been used for a while. It's so junky. Oh, I couldn't imagine what spiders are living in here. Do you want me to get rid of stuff in here, Mum, or just throw it out with the car? Bird crap in here and everything. So what I'm thinking of doing in regards to this YouTube channel and the vlogs and everything is just vlogging whenever it's entertaining enough to share with you guys. Because I find, like, I was trying to keep up with the daily vlogs and some vlogs that I was putting out I believe weren't that interesting just being at home and stuff. So I want to try and prevent those uninteresting vlogs. So instead, I'm still going to keep up the habit of trying to post daily, daily videos, whether that is just constructed videos like the last few I've put out, like for example, how I edit my videos and, and what I take on a bike tour and things like that, those type of videos. So I might do those, but then I'll also do the vlogs as well, posting a video a day. So I'm going to try and see how I go with that sort of plan for this year. And it could be sporadic, so I might vlog one day and then do a constructed video the next or just do numerous vlogs if I'm traveling or something like that. So that's the kind of structure that I'm planning on trying to create in this YouTube channel for 2018. So I want to give you guys a bit of an update on van life and the project of buying a van. So I've been a bit back and forth with sellers trying to buy a van. I was talking to somebody, um, let me show you guys what the van was. In regards to this 1993 Volkswagen teal green, blue, whatever van. And they had a thousand on this one, but I kept messaging them and I don't really think they want to sell it because they got a ute version of that and I think they're going to keep that for parts or something. So they're not replying. So I am passing up on that one. Had a look at another Volkswagen transporter in the white which looks like it's already sold. It was that one right there, but I passed up on that one as well. However, luck has turned on my side and I think, well, I'm heading down in about two hours to go check out a van that I am most probably going to be buying. So let me show you guys some photos of it. You guys will see it once we get there. But essentially it is this van right here. It's a Volkswagen 1994. Transporter T4, which is a good looking little jigger. So looks like an ex-ambulance van possibly 
by just the way it looks at the top here. It's got lights and stuff. I'm not just really 100% sure though. And it also has the tall roof. It's a long wheelbase. So it's a nice big van that I think is going to be absolutely perfect for van life. They had 1650 bucks on it. I sent them an offer for 1200 so it's looking like I might buy it. But we're going to head down in a couple of hours to go check it out. So you guys will just have to wait and see to see it in the flesh. And when I buy it, if I do, I have to wait until tomorrow for it to get towed here by a towing truck because we're going to take a trailer. However, the trailers that we're going to borrow or hire don't take the capacity of the van because the van is about 1600 kilograms and the capacity for the trailer is only around a ton or so or like 1300 so we don't want to take that chance instead we're going to pay a towing company to send it here so if i do buy it tonight it'll be here by tomorrow so i'll show you guys around the van tomorrow when i get it i'm pretty stoked <laughs> i'm so excited i couldn't sleep last night so let's go check this van out one so you're coming to get the van with me two huh three yes I don't know. we're ready to roll go to Newborough and pick up this van guys. I just popped into the bank and we have the Muller ready to go. So let's do this. So mum, dad and myself, we're all gonna drive together and uh, check out the van. I also should mention that it's not running. It's not in running condition, so that's the reason why I have to get a towie to come pick it up. And then tomorrow is when I'm probably gonna start working on it and uh, get it running and start the build on the inside to make it convert it into a camper because at the moment they got this real sketchy setup from what I see in the pictures so we're definitely going to be changing that as well. But I'm super pumped guys, I just want to get to Newborough and bloody get this van. Be yourself when you're holding on Be yourself one day I We're here, guys. All your requests on our the van. It's over there. The dude's coming out. I don't want him to see the camera. But anyway. Good, eh? How's it going? Yeah, good. Sorry, what was your name again? Alan. Alan Cody. Okay, Cody, how are you, man? Good, good. This is the boat. Yeah. It's not a bad rig other than uh, the issue, but I found a mod who said they could fix it. The only reason for you to put it back together yep. was just pulled apart because I had a guy mucking around with the immobilizers. Mm -hmm. So he tried another immobilizer and, and programmed an immobilizer and that to it. So yep. That's what it does. Oh, okay. Follows yep. and then shuts down straight away. Yeah, you so, g'day, how you going? Yeah. So, it's, a, it's not a I had sort of big hopes and dreams of getting it back on the road and fixing it up as a, use it as a camper, as a weekend camper. But Here she is guys, it's a beast. Needs a bit of work to do to it, but we'll see how we go. Alright, so I brought the van, I jumped in the deep end and paid for it. We're organising somebody to come pick it up tomorrow, early in the morning, so I should be back at home tomorrow. And then is when I'll show you guys what the van looks like. We've made it back home, just preparing the backyard. We've made a heap of space here, so we're going to take these two utes tomorrow. And we got room there to park the van when that rocks up. Susie. I'm pretty stoked that I finally brought a van. I can get van life plans on the go. It's really quite a surreal moment for myself and I'm a little bit nervous to say the least because, and I guess that's pretty normal. Like once you make changes in your life for the good, you kind of feel a little bit weary about it because you know, you're going into the unknown, but you know, I'm definitely up for the ride and I can't wait for the next chapter of van life to begin. There is still a bit of work to be done with the van. It is hopefully rocking up tomorrow at around nine o'clock in the morning. So I'm probably gonna start by cleaning cleaning up the van and doing that sort of stuff, trying to start to fix the problem. There's like a problem with the ECU, just the connection with the electronics. It doesn't connect to start the car up because like when it starts, it starts up and then it just cuts out straight away. So there is a problem there electronically with it, but I'm thinking it's just the number 30 relay that's just shorting the connection and not making a full connection. So I did order one of those parts. So we should get that by the end of the week to test it out and see if that makes any difference. And if it does, that's awesome. But I am expecting at the worst come to worst to pay a bill of maybe like, you know, 700 bucks or so to, to fix the problem. But I'm gonna try and fix it myself just to see how I go with the challenge. It'd be cool to try and do it. It is definitely gonna be an awesome experience. 
and I'm probably gonna start planning tonight like how I want the van to be set out and stuff. It's really big. It's so much bigger than, you know, a standard Toyota Hiace or something that I was planning to get or just the standard panel van. Like, like I was imagining, you know, having to duck down and everything. This van, you can sort of stand up. However, for myself, I'm kind of like this a little bit. It's not quite, you know, I can stand up and be straight back in there. I kind of have to bend over a little bit, but it's still a heap of space. And yes, it was an ex Ambo van, which is pretty awesome. I thought it was, and I told the dude, Alan, who sold the car to me if it was an ex ambulance and he said it was so if it's good enough for the ambulance it's good enough for me but it has its general character as a used car normally does but again guys i'm super pumped about making the decision and just jumping in and just taking it by the throat and hopefully it'll be an awesome experience i can't wait to finally sort of get on the road plans maybe in a month or so we should get on the road i don't want to try and rush into getting the van set up and everything i kind of just want to take it slow and just build up the van to be a nice van to live in but guys it's finally happened and it's kind of a awesome and surreal moment that i'm pretty pumped about it because i've been planning this for a while and that was one of my goals this year was to buy a van and i've already accomplished it so i'm pretty pumped about that so thank you guys for watching today's video i'm going to finish up here i'm going to head back home i just dropped down to the bank here but thank you guys for watching give us a thumbs up drop some comments below and i'll see you guys in tomorrow's video when we should work on the van so see you guys bye